the examples are clear to you. Now we'll learn about chemical equation, how to write about chemical reaction, what is the notation that we follow. I've already explained to you about how when a coal burns, carbon dioxide is released. This is the same example. CO2. How do we get CO2? What is there inside CO2? It has one carbon plus two oxygen. When you combine those two, we get carbon dioxide. So carbon and oxygen combine to give you carbon dioxide. Carbon and oxygen here are the reactants and carbon dioxide is the product. The reactants are reacting to give you the products. The reactants are put on the left hand side and the products are put on the right hand side. I hope you understand well. Now different chemical equations have to be balanced. That means the reactants and the products have to be equal. I'll give an example that's zinc. That's H2SO4 or sulfuric acid. On the right hand side we have zinc sulfate. So you can see in the left hand side there was one atom of zinc and it remains the same. Similarly hydrogen we had two on the left hand side has to be balanced on the right hand side. So both sides have to be balanced. You can see this picture which explains it. How many molecules on the left hand side and how many on the right hand side. If you want more clarity you can look here. So how many zinc we had? One. It has to be one on the right hand side as well. So like that, we balance an equation. I have already told you about the reactant and the product being balanced in a chemical equation. So we'll try to do that in this example. Let's see if it's already balanced or not. Fe, which is iron left hand side we have 1, on right hand side we have 3. H2O on left hand side. So we have only 1 on the left hand side and right hand side we have 4. Hydrogen I can see both are 2. But somehow this equation is not balanced. Now how can we balance this? So first we look at the equation and at the different chemicals, which one has the highest number of atoms. So we see here O4, on left hand side it's only 1. So we'll first try to balance this. Now how, how do we do that? I'm going to explain that. So we have O4 here. How do I change the left hand side O into 4? So I'll just add 4 to H2O. If you write it like this, that would be incorrect. And even this in the bracket would be incorrect. The right way of writing is 4H2O. Now the second would balance the oxygen molecule. Now after oxygen is balanced, what is the second one? We have iron which has three atoms on the right hand side and on the left hand side we just have one. So now we would balance iron which is Fe. So oxygen was already balanced, O4. Both RHS and LHS are equal. Now second, we would go for Fe or iron. So we'll add 3 to left hand side 
and iron is balanced now. Both sides, three atoms. Now let's see if hydrogen is balanced. On the left hand side we have 4H2 and on the right hand side we just have one molecule of H2. Now we have to balance this so we add a 4 to right hand side as well. Now after doing all this, let's check if the equation is balanced, left hand side and right hand side, are they equal or not? This is how we balance an equation. Now in a chemical equation, there are certain terms, certain notations that we use. So here you see S in bracket. What does this S stand for? So iron is a metal which is a hard solid metal. So S stands for solid. Now in this H2O you see G in the bracket. That stands for gas. So hydrogen and oxygen both are gases as you know. So G stands for gas. This arrow in the chemical equation shows the conversion of reactants to products and this arrow which is pointing upwards shows when two chemicals react a gas is emitted. There could be other notations used in chemical equations showing solid, liquid, gas, different things which you would be learning.